This is Walla, a 3,000 foot grass strip just north of Melbourne, Victoria and typical of thousands of similar strips around Australia and the rest of the world. Usually outside of controlled airspace and with the onus resting on the pilot to recognise the airstrip from the air and to maintain safety on the ground. Hello, I'm Dr Barry Rogers, Chairman of Visual Signals and the inventor of the unique crystals that power these beacons. Although an Australian invention, industry around the world now provides a range of products utilising these photoluminescent crystals integrated into paints, plastics and other composite materials, mainly for the use in the areas of safety, recognition and guidance. Airfield markers and beacons have not changed much in 60 years and consist mainly of cones such as this CASA approved model made of fibreglass or similar or triangular boundary or threshold markers like this one made of either fibro cement, masonite or sometimes steel sheet. They are not usually lit nor reflective and therefore do not have much value at night. The advantage of visual signals markers and beacons is that they are made from a very tough polymer called coatine with light emitting crystals integrated into it. These are rotor moulded and contain a patented cell or cavity which is filled with fluid once in position at an airfield. The fluid is entirely non-toxic nor hazardous to humans in the environment. In the event of a prop strike, these beacons will not shatter but they may suffer a slash which can be repaired or replaced by visual signals agent. There are four types of beacons seen here. The runway beacon identified by its yellow cap the taxiway cone, which is white by day but glows blue at night. The boundary runway vector marker, in this case indicating runway 18. And the blue glowing caps which are placed around windsocks, run up areas, etc. A relatively short exposure to daylight or ultraviolet light will cause these markers or beacons to glow for up to 12 hours or more. Bright sunlight is not necessary. Ambient temperature also excites the crystals. Thus, 20 degrees plus will cause them to glow even in total darkness. Luminescent light is not measured in terms of watts, but millicandellas, and its soft, distinctive glow will not dazzle the observer. The effect of the glow is visible from a distance even in daylight making identification of the airfield easier for the pilot. Further advantages of the visual signal systems are that it requires no power and will never fail. No complicated trenching with kilometres of cable and conduit, no purchase and maintenance of expensive lights and no ongoing power costs. Install it and forget it. Our beacons are guaranteed for 50 years and probably will last longer. As each system is designed to individual requirements, specific costing is difficult. As an example, the layout you see behind me on Wallen's 3,000 foot strip would cost a fraction of a comparable electric system. Visual signals offer excellent low cost leasing arrangements. Simply ask us for an evaluation. Visual signals beacons also has application for night VMC. So whether by day or night, the future for visual signals is bright.